dominantly monolingual American television program. She arrived to the program thanks to the internet votes of her admirers. Um, she brought her locura and conquered hearts, obtaining the Miss Congeniality Prize, even though she did not receive the winning crown. She was first runner-up. After the program, she released her first dance single, titled Loca, in December of 2009 in collaboration with Rani, a Brazilian DJ located in Boston who has worked with Lady Gaga and Britney Spears, followed by Locas in the House in 2010 with William Human. Since then, Nina Flowers has triumphed as a DJ in his masculine attire, as a strong, muscular man covered in tattoos, and as a makeup artist and drag performer who lip syncs frequently his own songs and who serves as MC in numerous clubs and other sites in the US, Puerto Rico, and Latin America. He was recently, Nina Flowers recently appeared in Guatemala. Uh, I think that was her first appearance in Central America, so that was very exciting. Flores' open and insistent affirmation of his or her locura occurs through the second or third person nominative act, which is to say, the act of calling another person a loca with the expectation that there will be a reciprocal act of naming a phenomenon similar to the one Horacio Sibori discusses in his book Locas, Chongos y Gays which is an ethnography of Rosario, Argentina, gay culture. There is no first person affirmation of a condition such as soy o estoy loca, that is to say, I am a loca, but rather the enunciation of loca as the interpolation of an other. I call you loca, fully expecting you to call me loca back, even if you do not speak Spanish as occurred when the Filipino-American contestant Angina and the Cameroonian immigrant Bibi Sahara Bene, um, who actually won um, the, the, the contest that year, when they call Nina Flowers loca, as Goldmark points out, even when Bibi Sahara Bene is unable to pronounce Jorge's name in Spanish. She kept trying to say Jorge, and she just that word was uh, a challenge to her. Um, here, Loca becomes the equivalent of the Anglo-American girlfriend, as in the queer expression, uh, as, is, as if a queer interjection. Loca is what you call me, but also what I call you, repeatedly and insistently, what we dance to, the word that sticks like a stamp, the new label. Or if not, loca, the word I use to speak of myself in the third person to describe what I do, the word that the English-speaking and transnational television audience memorizes and learns, that it executes and pronounces in its joy and celebration. This phenomenon represents a short circuit or jump over traditional Hispanic cultural and religious stigmatization, a leap over the unease associated to the epithet that circulates close to worse insults such as pato, pájaro, joto, maricón, mariposa, de acuerdo al país donde, donde estemos. Loca arrives without the pain as the most normal thing in the world, the symbol of a celebration of a very particular spectacular, as in spectacle, trans-feminine alterity that does not correspond to a traditional reproduction of the feminine but rather to drag or transvestism as an aesthetic monstrosity, something slightly frightening, but not for this reason less beautiful. An illustration of a disconcerting, yet simultaneously fascinating other, a hybrid, possibly the graft of multiple animals or mythological beings, or even extraterrestrials, decidedly not a conventional human. Este ritmo caliente, el ritmo que te traigo, este ritmo sabroso, el ritmo de la loca. All the locas in the house, can you hear me? Work, 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 work.